crappy color grading should be a crime and I'm here to keep you out of jail. I film cars for a living and this is how I color grade. So your color grades look clean, you can show off your crispy looking videos and you stay out of the color grade jail. We have DaVinci Resolve open, we go gallery, power grade, you can find this power grade link in description. We start with a white balance, open effects and then we use this slider to make it warmer or left to make it colder but for this time we want a warm looking video so let's say we keep it at around 7000 we're gonna close the effects then we move over to the exposure node I'm gonna lower my highlights to somewhere around here and I'm gonna fix my exposure to somewhere around here then I'm going to the vignette Vignette tab or window tab. I'm gonna make my window a little bit smaller. This vignette will make the outsides of this window a little bit darker, but I'm gonna slightly make the outsides a little bit darker by dragging the offset to the left. And I'm gonna change the location of my gradient just a little bit and I'm gonna stretch it out just like this. Then now I'm going back to my exposure node and I'm gonna lower my gamma. So we bring back that nice dense color in the midtones. Then for the car note, I'm gonna slightly increase the color density of the green from the car. Therefore, I'm going to the color slicer. And this is the cyan color, as we can see by clicking this button. And I'm gonna just slightly increase the density here, just a little bit, something like this. And then the U slider. So that's before and after. Then I'm gonna turn on my grass node, which will make the grass less green. And in this case, it's perfect. So we have a little bit more of a separation between the car, the green of the car and the green from the grass. But I'm gonna slightly make it a little bit less. So we go to U versus U, and I'm gonna just slightly bring this dot down like this. So this before and after, just a subtle detail. And then I'm gonna change something else, not the sky but I want this orange to be a little bit less aggressive or a little bit less saturated. So I'm gonna pick this color right here. We go to U versus saturation first. Then I want to slightly lower it just a little bit, something like this. Usually I go a lot and then I go back and then I see where I want to land it. This was just too orange. This looks good for me. Then let's add some glow. Okay, we turn on the note. The glow is too strong, I know. But we open the effect step and then you can lower the gain here. Or if you go to the window, you can also move it around, make it bigger, make it smaller. This looks good right here. If we zoom in on this shot right here, we can clearly see some noise here. And if you want to know how to get that 4K quality, this is part of the cheat code. Just use the denoiser note right here. You can toggle it on and straight away it will get rid of most of the noise. And if you want to even increase this, you can go set to three frames and you can increase the number right here. Or you can use the spatial noise reduction and set it to about 10. And your image will be clear as hell. Do note that the denoise function in DaVinci Resolve is only available in the studio version. So if you don't have the studio version, just turn it off and you are good to go. All the rest is available in the free version. And if you want to know how I color graded these McLaren clips, watch this video next.